Hello, my name is Gilles Tassert, and I'm one of the corporate chefs here at General Mills. Thank you so much for stopping by today, as we are going to talk about our Yoplait Parfait Pro Yogurt. This is a fantastic product that is super easy to use in all kinds of different applications, and I can't wait to share those details with you. First off, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and what I do here on the team, on the culinary team. So what I work on on a regular basis is working with our larger customers and trying to find some great solutions for them and their operation around recipes and execution so that they can deliver on great food for their customers. So this is a little bit about me. Now let's dig into the product. So first of all, as you can see, our Yoplait Yogurt Parfait Pro comes in a very handy bag. It's pre-perforated for easy opening, as I'm going to show you in a minute. And then it comes in different flavor. Our most popular would be our, this bag right here, which is our Vanilla Low Fat Parfait Pro. But we also have a strawberry, a blueberry, and some Greek yogurt, uh, Vanilla Greek as well. So let's get going and start with our first recipe, which is our tropical fruit uh, and a granola smoothie ball. We're going to use our fruit granola as well that's made by Nature Valley, which is another great brand that we have. And this is going to be an extremely simple recipe to assemble. So, and it's only going to take about a minute, but you know it will delight your customers. So first off, as I talked to you about before, you've got the bag right here. You've got the pre-perforated top and the spout for the yogurt to come out. So all you do is grab one hand and hold the bag and the other one to pull on the tab. And you, by just holding it together, I'll try to show you, it will open right at the tab right here. So there you go. This is where the yogurt will come out of. So I will demonstrate that right now for this uh, tropical smoothie bowl recipe. What you want to do is hold the bag a little bit more on the middle, not at the end, so that you have more leverage. So we'll hold it in the middle and the other end in the back and then you can direct exactly where you want the yogurt to go. So here I'll put about three ounces of yogurt at the bottom. There you go. Uh, if you're only doing one recipe like myself, you can use a bench scraper or even the side of your table to uh, move the yogurt back in the bag and make sure that you can store it safely in your walk-in cooler like this. The next ingredient on our tropical uh, smoothie bowl is going to be a mixture of white chocolate chip, coconut and almonds, which I will place a little bit of it right here, a couple tablespoons. Then we will add some banana slices. I've already sliced them. We'll just do a row of that. There you go. And then we don't want to forget our fruit granola, our Nature Valley granola right here. As you can see, it got all the dried fruits as well as the regular granola pieces. So I'll do one quick layer of that side by side. I like to do it side by side so that the customer can see exactly what they're buying. And then finally, for a little pop of, co of color, I'm going to use some mandarin oranges just to do one little layer of that as well and get some additional pop of color. And then as you can see, just a couple minutes and you've got this beautiful uh, tropical fruit smoothie ball right here as our first recipe. I'll place it right here next to the other one so you can see the to-go version as well as the plated version I just made. And then as we still have a little bit of time, I'll show you one other recipe. And this has been extremely popular in our schools uh, around the country because it is a smoothie that you make without a blender, and we called it a blenderless smoothie. Pretty easy. So same thing, but we're using our strawberry uh, Parfait Pro yogurt this time. So just like before, you tear the tab at the top. There you go. I'm going to mix it in a container right here, a plastic container, but obviously if you were making smoothies for many people, you would want to use a big uh, camera bucket or a large stainless steel ball. And it's very simple. You get your three ingredients together, which is half yogurt right here. I'll, I'll uh, move this, as I told you, to make sure I can save the rest. Then we've got pineapple juice. I'll put it right in. And then we've got applesauce. 
The reason you put some applesauce in there is to get a little bit of that texture you would get if you were making a real smoothie. And then I can just shake it in the container like this. If you were making a big, big batch, obviously uh, using a whisk would be a little bit easier. There you go. Make sure you get all of the yogurt mixed. There you go. And then all you have to do now is pour it in your disposable cups, for example, if you're going to serve them as two-go items. Here's one delicious smoothie ball. Uh, so, sorry, blenderless smoothie. And here is another one. We can make a little more uh, to fill the cup. So we'll put those over here as well. And then I also want to talk to you about some additional recipe variation I made using our Parfait Pro Yogurt today. So on top here, you've got a regular yogurt parfait, so pretty traditional. We've got some blueberries, strawberry, and some of our Nature Valley oats and honey granola on top in an insert cup to make sure it doesn't get soggy. Over here to the left is going to be our blenderless smoothie. Down here, using wi a non-dairy whipped topping and yogurt mixed together, we were able to make a chocolate mousse, and this is a delicious recipe you should try. Then uh, down here, using our yogurt once again, as well as our puff pastry, we made an Indian chicken salad uh, with curry uh, yogurt, like the dressing is the curry yogurt. And then finally, all the way at the bottom, you have your tropical fruit and granola smoothie bowl that I demonstrated earlier. So as you can see, after just a few minutes, you were able to learn and make five different recipes using our amazing Parfait Pro yogurt. So if you want to do more or learn more about it, please do not hesitate to visit our website at generalmillscf.com. And I thank you so very much for stopping by today.